setting your DFS lineups on DraftKings for week number two is about to get a whole lot easier. As SI fantasy and gambling analyst Ben Heisler and the editor of All 49ers, Grant Cohn, join me now to talk about some of these running backs. Ben, let me go to you first. Who are you using in your lineups and who are you fading? If there's going to be one guy that I really want to make sure I have a bunch of exposure to this week, Bill, it's Austin Eckler for the Los Angeles Chargers. I I think it's a very intriguing matchup uh, hosting Kansas City this week where they're going to need to put up a plethora of points to be able to stay alive. Uh, We saw a full commitment to Austin Eckler, just under 20 carries last week. Uh, Also had a couple targets in the passing game. And in fact, I think we'll see more next week against Kansas City uh, compared to that slower matchup that they had against the Cincinnati Bengals on the road. Uh, Eckler has played well against Kansas City in the past. He's an integral part of that offense. And I think based on game script alone, uh, with his value currently right now at about $6,500 on DraftKings, uh, I think Eckler could be the steal of week two. As for the guy that I'm fading, uh, it's very difficult for me to choose any running back uh, going up against Pittsburgh. So Melvin Gordon, even with Philip Lindsley possibly on the shelf, is out for me. Uh, Saquon Barkley, my number one running back in fantasy, got, wait for it, six yards. Six rushing yards uh, in week one against Pittsburgh. Now, he was targeted in the passing game, so he was able to salvage a bit of it. But uh, I don't want anything to do with Melvin Gordon or, frankly, any running back going up against Pittsburgh and that top-tier elite rush defense. Another running back that we are eyeing up for DFS lineups in week two, that's Raheem Mostert. What an excellent week one against the Cardinals. He comes in at a price of $6,400 on DraftKings. Grant, with some of the injuries to the offensive playmakers on San Fran, what are you expecting to see out of Mostert this weekend? Well, he's blossoming as a receiver. He had a 75-yard touchdown catch last week. It was all him. He's a really good player. But as long as George Kittle has a sprained knee, Raheem Mostert's rushing yards are going to be affected. He's a 4-3 runner who is like a no-nonsense downhill runner. Last year, all he did was run behind George Kittle, who would create seven yards and Mostert would take him. Those seven yards aren't there anymore. So for right now, I think the running back who's going to do the best in the Niners' backfield is Tevin Coleman because he's never he never had the speed to really utilize George Kittle like that. He wants to cut back behind the center, and right now that's probably the best move you can do considering the Niners are in the shotgun most of the time. They're down to their third-string center. Their running game is all messed up. So for right now, Mostert isn't the guy. It's Coleman. Grant, great tip there on Tevin Coleman, who's only $4,000 on DraftKings, so that could be a sneaky start. If you want to get our DFS optimizer for the NFL, It's $19.99 a month, and you get all of our DFS and gambling analysis and coverage. You can get that membership by going to si.com slash gambling. Clicking on that red sign-up button. 